Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Got a couple of things I want to show you today, but this is mostly going to be serving as a tutorial for those of you with the Mini 3 Pro in order to explain how you can get your videos, your pictures, whatever the case may be, directly onto your phone, even though you're using the RC screen controller. And you can do this while you're out and about. You don't need to have a Wi-Fi signal um, because these devices are gonna to talk to one another directly. And the good thing about this is you can also play about if you're doing, say, master shots. You can do the quick edits and that that the DJI app puts together for you and then just have videos ready to go and share on social media immediately. It's a very easy process and as well, it just gives you fantastic results. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you a bit of a bonus tip that may help some of you as well. OK, and to get a couple of things done in one, I'm going to actually record a master shot and then I'm going to show you how to do the quick transfer as well as showing you how you can edit the master shot pretty much automatically so that you can get a nice 15 second video to share with your friends. So let's go ahead and get the drone into the air. It is a little bit windy today, I've got to say. Yeah, I'm not moving the drone there. It's kind of blowing itself. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the wind strength is, but hopefully it won't be too much that we can't actually get a master shot because this is going to be the last opportunity I've got to film before my dad gets married tomorrow. So he's using this very garden for his wedding reception. Uh, let's go ahead and take some height see when those wind warnings start popping up. I do know that the wind warnings on the Mini 3 pop up quite regularly, even perhaps when there's no real need for them to do so. So there might be a fix for that coming. Who really knows? Um, when it comes to DJI, I ain't got a clue what their plans are. Uh, one thing I do want to show you, though, is that the current app version 1.6.1 indicates that it's not yet been updated for the smart or for the RC screen controller as it has for Android and iOS. I'm not sure why it's so far behind. It should be 1.6.4 by now. But I guess we just need to be patient because as far as I know, there's no way to update the controller itself. You can update the firmware, okay? You can update the firmware through the desktop app onto your controller with the USB cable, but not the actual fly app. That's what I'm referring to. And I guess we can... Uh, have a go at capturing this tree here. So let's just drop the gimbal down a touch. Now, in order to do a master shot, we're going to select the photo options and the video options there. It is so windy. I'm surprised I've got no wind warnings yet. We'll select master shots there. And once we've selected master shots, that's when we need to go ahead and choose our subject. Hopefully it will read that. Yeah, it can just about. It's right, it's a very green tree, isn't it, against a green background, so I didn't know if it would detect it, but the software and the hardware that DJI put out is generally quite reliable. Uh, I'm going to change everything to small here. I mean, this isn't going to be the best, you know, the best master shot in the world. It's more of a means to an end to show you guys how to use the feature. And you might see the family as they're getting ready for... Uh, my dad's wedding, which is, you know, it's tomorrow, so they don't mind me filming them. They know I've got the drone out. So let's go ahead and select start. And if there are any obstacles, which there shouldn't be, then hopefully that obstacle avoidance will do its job. And once you've started the master shot, you're going to get a percentage recording on the right hand side. Uh, it is quite a ways from that tree, so hopefully that won't interrupt the shot. If it does get too close to an obstacle, yep, yeah, it will cancel the shot just like that. So, let's try again. I could see from my perspective it was never going to hit that tree, but at least that obstacle avoidance is doing its job there. So let's try again. And has it saved our settings? It has. So let's select start. Yeah, no obstacles, no trees nearby. So I'd be surprised if it even bleeps this time. Now, what it's going to do then is do a number of manoeuvres, such as the droney manoeuvre that it's doing now, along with the rocket and the uh, circular ones. And, oh, here comes my daughter. I'm just filming a YouTube video. OK, do you want to step back and I'll speak to you in a few minutes? <laughs> Everyone's so excited. That was my daughter. Right then, 
So we're at 24 percent here. And I am shocked that I've not had any wind warnings because I can feel like my t-shirt's about to blow off here. It seems very stable in the sky, I've got to say, doing its manoeuvres there. I'll tell you what, I do love these DJI drones. I'm a big fan of the Mini 3 Pro, but the Mini 2 as well is also such a fantastic device. Okay, we're getting a little bit close to a tree there. I'm not worried about hitting it, but I just would rather not the manoeuvre. The actual master shot be interrupted this late into the attempt, it seems okay. Again, I know a tree is not the most exciting thing to catch, but it'll serve our purpose for the day. Can I get me in the shot? <laughs> I hope you guys have been having a wonderful week as well. Been very hectic here, as you can imagine. But I'm glad I've still been able to find the time to get some videos out to you guys. And I am going to keep an eye out for when that 1.6.4 update drops on the controller. So the master shot has completed. The aircraft is now returning to its original location. There we go. So what I'm going to do now, now that we've got the actual shot itself, I'm going to bring the drone back and then we'll look at doing the quick transfer or using that particular feature. So for that, you're going to need your phone along with the drone itself with some battery left in it. I actually tend to use sports mode for landing. And the reason for that is because it just disables the obstacle avoidance pretty much instantly. Now, what you need to do is make sure you've got the fly app on your mobile. For me, I'm going to be using my iPhone, but you can use an Android for this as well. Okay, while the drone is on, we're going to go ahead and open the Fly app. Now, with your drone switched on, once you open the Fly app on your phone, you should get this notice saying switch to quick transfer mode. If you don't get that, use the connection guide and select the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Once you've gone through the instructions there, you should be able to come back to this screen with this notification. So let's go ahead and select switch. Uh, I'm just going to click OK on that. Try that again. And then when it says, do you want to join the Wi-Fi, select join. And that isn't connecting to any Wi-Fi network in your area. All it's doing is making a connection between the phone and the drone itself directly. So you can do this anywhere you are located. It really doesn't matter. You don't need an internet connection. Now that we've got the connection, we're going to select view album. And here you can see we've got some files. So looking at today, the two I've just done, we've got the 12 second file. That was the one that failed. You remember that? And then we've got the master shot that was two minutes and seven seconds long. Now, before you do anything else, I do recommend downloading these. So to download this file, for example, we're going to just open it. You can choose the preview before you download it to see if you want to download it or keep it. And we just say so if I wanted to preview it, just click the play button. But you can't do much else with it apart from the preview. So if I try and edit it, for example, it will say that I need to download the file. So that's what we're going to do. That little button in the bottom right hand corner, the arrow facing down, we're just going to tap that. And that is then going to transfer the file, the video file, or two minutes of it, from the drone directly to the phone. Now, I do believe it's only going to transfer it in HD, which is 1920 by 1080 resolution, not the 4K that I recorded it in. So if you want those 4K files, you're still going to need, perfect, you're still going to need to get the memory card out and transfer them manually. They are still on the memory card, they haven't gone anywhere, but for what we've just transferred, 1080p is the best we're gonna get, which is pretty perfect, let's be honest, for social media or for sharing in WhatsApp groups with friends and family or whatever the case may be. I'm just gonna head back inside or under here a little bit because of the wind. Uh, now that we've done the transfer, we can save some drone battery and actually get this switched off along with the controller because the rest of the tutorial is pretty much on the phone itself. 
So now that we've got our screen with the photos or videos that we've done a quick transfer on, which are now on our phone, we can edit them very, very easily. So take this master shot that we just recorded. It's already created a 20 second clip for us, which looks really, really good. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I don't like that one. We can tap the magic wand at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and select a whole bunch of other options. So let's say we wanted to have a retro look. Uh, that hasn't given us a picture. Sometimes it can just take a couple of attempts when you're out and about. There we go. Okay, it's not actually showing up with the video. <laughs> there we go. It's working now. Okay, or we can tap that and select any of the number of other options. But with the right sort of shots, you can have some very, very quick edits ready to go. And once you've got the one you're happy with, so let's have a look, I don't know, at Sunshine, for example. Okay, yeah, that'll do. All you need to do is tap the tick button here. And then at the top right hand uh, corner of the screen, you've got your share button. And here you can go ahead and save it to your phone album. So if I tap OK here, it's actually going to save it to my camera roll. And there you can access it as you would any other photo or video on your phone so that you can go ahead and share it in various groups on, uh, online. Just keep it for yourself. Perhaps you take, with the DJI Mini 3, you take a portrait photo since you have that option and then you can just quick transfer it to your phone and set it as your background or whatever the case may be. And you also have that number of share options, Facebook, Instagram, all of that good stuff right there, ready to go as well. So it's a really, really neat little feature that I like and I do use quite regularly with these DJI drones. Right, one other thing I want to show you before I finish up little bonus tip for you. I'd never thought about doing this, but this is a really cool little feature that's not directly supported by DJI, but there's a bit of a workaround. And this will allow you to upload your screen recordings from your RC device, directly from the RC device onto YouTube. Now, first of all, why may you want to do this? Well, maybe you're just building up a YouTube channel, want to share those screen recordings. Sadly, they're going to be not the most exciting videos because there's no sound or anything, but perhaps a better use would be for your own sake, for you know your own backup in a way. Because what you can do on YouTube is have a channel dedicated for this and have all your videos unlisted so that only you can view them or those that you choose to give the link to so they're not like being propagated out to the search engine or anything. And you can effectively then just upload all of your screen recordings as you do them. So you've always got a record of them, you've always got a backup of them and you can safely delete them as well off the control at memory card to save space, knowing that you've already uploaded them. Now you will of course need a connection to the internet to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my phone. Okay, and what we're going to do is head to profile here. And then on profile, we're going to select DJI Forum. And this little tip was shared by Enrique RC, I believe, on the DJI Forum. And what we're looking for here on the DJI Forum is any particular post that has a YouTube video uh, embedded in it. So here we go. And what we're going to do is select the play button on that video and then just pause immediately. And then we tap the YouTube word that's on the bottom of that video. And that's going to open YouTube up. And once it's, on, once it's loaded up here, what you can do is log into your YouTube account with sign in. I'm not going to do that at this particular time. You can sign in with, as I say, a throwaway account that you're using just for this purpose, just for your screen recordings. And then you can upload directly from the RC controller and the controller will let you do that from the videos that are stored on the memory card. So it's a great little thing you can do to just instantly back up all of your screen recordings. And of course, YouTube will have them dated for you so that you know and you know which were recorded on what day and the order you recorded them in. 
and you can just safely delete them then if you're not going to need to manipulate the files themselves and still have a record, a backup of them. So I wanted to share that with you. It's not something I've really seen spoken about all that much, but I do think it is a little thing that some people will find very, very helpful. Anyway, guys, I hope that this video has been a help to you, showing the quick transfer amongst other things as well. And if it has, please do just drop a like. That really does support the channel. And don't forget you can subscribe as well to be notified of future videos going forward. I'm going to be keeping my eye out for that update to 1.6.4. And as soon as that hits, I will be making a video just to test out the stability of that so that you guys can see. If it fixes any of the issues that I've been having, I know some of you have been having them, I'm not 100% convinced it will because I think some of those issues are more firmware related, but we'll see how we get on there. But thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to have a busy one. Be very tired by the end of it, I'm sure. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.